Rook 85 back for a long-awaited buckshot test. Done a couple in the past, uh, some long-range shots with the double lot buck and triple lot and double lot at 55 yards with I think four different I think four different shotguns we used. Back this time, uh, in some of the comments on those, uh, you've requested uh, a couple different size pellets or ranges, etc. So I'm going this time with the number four buckshot. Uh, number four buckshot is 24. The caliber would be 24, and or uh, just a, a hair over six millimeter as far as the diameter of the ball that comes out. Uh, as far as deer goes, um, I don't know if I like this or not. Uh, probably going to depend on what I see when we go down range there uh, as far as the target goes. Uh, probably a lot more comfortable with double lot buck uh, or triple lot, but uh, you requested it. Actually, I want to see, and it's also one of those things, too, you can use it you know, is it a personal defense thing? So I'm using this more deer hunting. When we go down and take a look at the target, you'll see it's a little bit more of a personal defense, but that's just because of the targets I got. We have one Remington 870 Express shotgun. These are our turkey guns, and it's got the mossy oak uh, camo on that. That's the skin. And over here, we got the Mossberg 500. Both of these 28 inch barrels, but the Mossberg 500, and again, it's got the mossy oak uh, skin on there. Right now, I have full choke in both. I also have modified, so we're going to be doing a modified and a full choke with both. We're going to shoot the I'll shoot the full and everything, and then I'll switch out to the modified, see what kind of uh, spread we get down there. Federal and all of them are number four buck, they're all two and three quarter inch shells. And they all have 27 of those number four buckshot pellets in there. So they're all exactly the same as far as our uh, test subject, as far as the shotgun shell itself it goes. Uh, we have the field. Gee, these are the Italian ones. Nice see-through. Gives you a nice little view, little idea of what's going on inside your shotgun shell. You can see all 27 of those pellets and a, and a few grains of powder scattered in. And we're going to go with the law enforcement uh, buckshot. And you can see through that a little bit too. So we're going to go ahead and shoot these. Hopefully my shoulder and my cheek is going to hold out for the, for the whole video. Well here we are down at our targets. And we're going to do each shot. I'm going to change the target. But before I was able to put some dots on there and it got a good idea of the different spreads. This is life size, and if I stand behind it, my fat self is probably just about the same exact size as this. We'll be able to have, a, have an idea, deer, law, or self-defense. So let's get back to the bench. I got these marked up. We got Remington. We're going to shoot in the left, Mossberg on the right. Law enforcement, number four buck, and we're going to go with the full choke. And it'll be very interesting to see at 55 yards we're just blown up all over the place or we have a pretty good pattern in here. open. Looking over here, you actually have a couple in the little shoot and see, which is, uh, I think that's six inch. Uh, a couple in the, the head over here, some more body shots down. So basically covered it, but we're talking 27 pellets. And without counting the, the 27, I mean, they all seem to be in a bit over here, but for a full choke, I'm seeing a way too much spread, so we're, I think we're going to have to come in a little bit. Uh, here was my Remington. And again, one, one at the top, but uh, a couple in the body here, here, a few in here, down, down through the body. But again, way too spread out. Now, if you're, if you're shooting whitetail, you know you don't want this is, this is way too spread out because you, you might hit a vital and you might hit the guts. 
So this is way too, way too far. So I think we'll make an adjustment on that table and maybe move it in. A little bit closer, we're at 45 now, and we're gonna do the rest from here. And I hate to think I'm gonna have to move up to like 35, but uh, this is what these tests are for. So, uh, so let's go ahead and, and shoot another full choke. We're gonna use the Federals this time. Again, we're full choke, 45 yards, 27 pellets, a lot better. We even got full four in the bullseye in the shoot and see. Uh, but we got two, 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 three, five, one way down, about 18 actually, what would be considered on the target. So that seems to be a lot better uh, as far as coming in 45 yards. So that 55 yards. You know, not fair to the uh, for the law enforcement. I'm not going to shoot him again, but uh, that was definitely a little bit too far. And I don't think it was the ammunition. I just really think it was the distance. Here we are over the Mossberg. Two in the bull, but uh, two, three, oh, 13. About 13 in the bull over here, or, or what would be considered the bullseye. Uh, a lot better. Yeah, still. I still think it's a little bit spread out for my liking as far as deer goes, but uh, personal defense, you know, you're at 45 yards with number four buckshot, you're not going to miss. You know, there's going to be some type of wound, so that's, uh, you know, if you want to just keep that in the back of your head. So we got the uh, Fiocchi's next. I could shoot those Mossbergs all day. It's Remington. I'm not quite sure about yet. Let's start with the Remington again. Number three in our shoot and see. I see a lot here, right, right in here. Not bad, really. I mean, I don't even see anything spreading up into the head. Uh, Two, four, inner target area against deer. If you're shooting for the shoulder, you know, and the shoulder's here, you're still kind of traveling back maybe towards that those guts area that you don't want to travel back to. But not bad for this. This is this is uh, you know, fairly impressive. And again, the Italian ammunition. Here we are over here with the moss. Uh, three up here in the head, that's not good. Five, six, seven, only about nine actually right here. So uh, still, I mean, if we're talking human target, we're certainly talking lethal. Uh, deer, not feeling it. And again, that was the uh, moss, Mossberg full choke. So what we're going to do now, we're going to switch over, we're gonna, I'm going to take those full chokes out and switch over to modified because a lot of comments that I got when I was doing the buckshot video is that the super full chokes that I was using for that, for that video, uh, my original one, uh, it was deforming in the shot, so of course they're not th uh, flying true like they should, they're squashing it down too much as it goes through the choke. So let's get the modified in there and see if we have something better have something similar to this where they start flying off the target. And in case you're wondering what this is, we're shooting a, a nice lady. If you want to check out my uh, don't take a, a gun advice or don't take advice from a, from the vice president, you may want to check that video out. You know, a little bit comical, a little bit sad because of some of the things he said. We have our tool to change the chokes. So we have our modified choke. Matter of fact, I think you can even see that through the thing. It says Remington Mod for modified. So let's take this full out. Unscrew him. Whoops. I'd have two more shells out for each. 
We have both of the modified chokes in the Remington and the Mossberg. We've got our target set. So let's see if that theory about the modified choke and the squeezing of the pellets or the squashing and deforming of the pellets uh, makes any difference with our targets. We're going to go back to the law enforcement. We're going to go ahead and shoot those first. Back on safety, action's open. There goes first. It's right through the hell. All right, here we are down with the law enforcement modified choke. One, two, three, four, five, six, barely seven, eight. I could even be in the jacket and not even hit his skin. To me, I certainly wouldn't be shooting at a deer. And if it was a, a human threat, yes, you would certainly have eight, eight shots on target and this person would be disabled. But uh, I'd still rather shoot the full. Going over here to the Remington. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There's five. So it's spread out like crazy. Will it be interesting? Again, this is the law enforcement buckshot. I don't know how they could make it so the law enforcement buckshot would spread any greater uh, than, than one of the others unless it's a, a, the wad design, uh, which it could be very well. So, and again, of course this person is dis debilitated, a deer, if a deer was here, you know, that deer's running. You're never, you're never going to see that, I don't even think you're going to see a drop of blood off of that. So I certainly wouldn't be using number four buckshot on a deer. Just from back, actually, when I was walking up, I could see there was a big difference between these Fiocchi's on and the law enforcement's. You can see. You even got a couple in the bowl, one in the bowl over here. We didn't even have anything in the bowl in the other one. And I'm seeing a lot over here with Remington. Certainly a lot better than the, the law enforcement's. Again, law enforcement's, they may be specifically designed to spread overspread. Uh, coming over here to the moss, again, great pattern, really. So here we go with 23 actually on the paper and uh, 21 into the into the area right here. Again, I'm not real happy deer-wise, but I would be happy personal protection-wise. So uh, Fiocchi, pretty good, pretty good. And I think if I remember, it did pretty pretty good on the other one. But we got two more to do. My shoulder says finish. My cheekbone says finish up. And I'm sure you're thinking finish up too, so let's get at it. With our federal modified choke, 45 yards. And one more. All right, here's our last one. Uh, federal modified choke. Uh, quick count. Nine, nine on the target. Not, certainly not as impressive as the other one was. Uh, again, some injury, but uh, did a little bit better with the Mossberg, I would say. Twelve, not into the twenties like we had with the Fiocchi, but uh, a little better. So, really, what I'm seeing. If, if I was going to deer hunt with these, I'd, I'd be getting back onto the bench, you know, I'd be working from 35 yards. And if I was working from 35 yards, God, I know I would go with double odd buckshot because I'm going to be hammering that deer. So I would say number four buck for a deer. There's no reason, real reason to use it. Personal protection. Yes, I could see it. We're shooting 27 pellets out at one shot. 
So just think about that. AR-15, 30 round magazine, 30 shots on target, 30 pulls of the trigger, 27 rounds on target, and of course big target. Forget number four, deer hunting or hog hunting or coyote hunting. I, I just don't think you're going to get what you're really looking for. I would stay with double up buckshot myself. Uh, but interesting to do. I enjoyed it except for a little bit of the, uh, the hot needles into the shoulder every once in a while. I'm going to go back and take a look at these, uh, but for the most part we'll, we'll see what came out the best. So this White Rook 85 signing out from Camp Goat Time, deep in the woods, Pennsylvania. Alright, I think that worked out good. Yeah, I can see a lot hitting into the dirt right here. Yeah.